nation's capital. It's not a place you'd usually find Surfing Australia TV. Let's face it, good old Lake Burley Griffin, you don't find much swell there, but we are in town on official business. It's not every day you turn 50, so we're taking this big deal birthday seriously. Now the fabulous folk from the Royal Australian Mint are just as amped as we are and as we speak, a Surfing Australia 50th anniversary commemorative coin is being created. Another way to celebrate this massive milestone. Vanessa Russell Steele is our tour guide for the day. Vanessa, thanks for hanging out with Surfing Australia today. We are very excited to be here. Now, commemorative coins, like can anyone get on one? Is it a big deal? Oh, it's a pretty big deal. You have to have something that's important to all Australians, as Surfing Australia is. It's one of our favourite pastimes. And also because it's such a special anniversary, 50 years, we thought it was a great opportunity to get you guys on a coin. And uh, we have scored VIP access. We are going behind the scenes to check out the coin and the whole process. So uh, let's get cracking. The Mint press and churns out up to 2 million coins a day. Over 15 billion have been produced since they opened in 1965. So you're the ideas people. Thank you for letting us take over your space. Would you say our coin, our precious 50th anniversary coin is quite a unique concept? Yeah, definitely. The theme in itself is pretty exciting and it's a deviation from what we would traditionally do. Um, it was also a chance for us to kind of have a reach outside of our traditional collector base. So we thought, yeah, we'll do something a bit more fun, edgy and exciting with the packaging. Five-time world champ Steph Gilmore graces the innovative packaging and she's stoked to go down in history with this limited edition coin. It truly is an honour to be involved with Surfing Australia on this limited edition coin. Thank you so much for choosing my image to be on the package. Congratulations to Surfing Australia for a huge 50 years. What a success it's been. I feel that uh, a lot of the world's best surfers that come out of Australia really have a lot to, to thank and be appreciative of Surfing Australia and everything they've done from our junior careers right up until our professional careers. I think you're really going to love this next part, Jess. This is my favourite part. This is the actual coin design process. You have to check this out. I can't believe that this coin is actually being made by human hands. This is your work, Alex. You know, how do you come up with this concept? I started first with the sketches. Once it is approved, uh, I'm starting uh, with the um, plaster model. So this one uh, is maybe the first, I can say the first step. Uh, it is one part is carved in plaster and uh, some details as well the surfer, uh, surfer they are modeled in uh, plasticine. After that I am doing the negative of this thing, uh, finishing, doing the last details and after that it becomes the positive. There is so much love that has gone into this coin and, and when I actually get to hold it I will appreciate the coin so much more knowing that you have spent so long actually sculpting and designing and this process. It really has blown, blown me away that this is how it happens. Okay right now we're creeping on George while he's busy working. What is he doing? George actually takes, you know the big plaster that we saw upstairs with the designers? He takes that and shrinks it to put the design on the master tooling. So from the big plaster to the small metal tools. Now George, you've been uh, staring at surfing all day. Has it inspired you to get out there and have a crack at surfing? Yeah, one day I'll go there. Teach my kids how to do it, yeah. Well, there's very good programs called the Vegemite uh, Surf Broms. Maybe you can get your kids into that. You, however, my friend, would need a long board, a very big board, I think. Stand up. Show us how tall, yeah, 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 a yeah. little bit taller. Bit taller. <laughs> well, thank you. We'll let you get back to work. We won't uh, hold up your day too much. Thanks, George. Okay, I am super excited. This is the final stage in the process. We've done the mint, we've toured the mint just to get here and see our Surfing Australia coin. Now, Jared seems like a nice kind of guy. Do you reckon he'll, uh, Jared, let me uh, touch our coin, get it in my hands and actually feel it for myself? What do you reckon, Jared? Come on, Jared. Be a good bloke. <gasps> Here it is. It is our very own 50th anniversary commemorative coin right here. Do you think that I, you know, seeing as though it is ours, I could just take one for, su for a souvenir? Uh, good luck getting that one through security. That's all I've got to say about that. You can only have a go. It's iconic. It's an Australian pastime that everyone should appreciate and love. So I think that, uh, well, I hope that everyone in Australia, not just surfers, will, uh, will embrace our coin and, and get behind us and support Surfing Australia. I think they will. With, with a beautiful coin like this, you can't go wrong. If you want to own a piece of Surfing Australia history, you can get your hands on our limited edition commemorative coin at these locations.